Hey everyone, welcome back to 365 Ninja. Today I'm going to show you one of my favorite PowerPoint tips. It's something that I do all the time, and that is using the eyedropper to match colors on a PowerPoint slide. And as a bonus, I'll show you how to get a little bit more in-depth information about the color you're using, um, looking at the RGB values and getting a hex code. So to start out, I have my PowerPoint deck that I used for our recent OneDrive for Business webinar, and you can see that I have this little speech bubble that I added to the slide, but when I started out, this was what the slide looked like, and I knew I wanted to insert that shape. So when you insert a shape, you'll notice that you get this uh, default blue color. So I really wanted my shape to match the Ninja headband. And let me just put some text in here um, just for the sake of demonstration. So what I did first is I removed the outline. So now I just have that shape, but of course the color is not what I want. So with the shape selected, the shape fill that I wanted was the headband color. I click eyedropper. And you can see this little square pops up next to the eyedropper. I hover it right over the color that I want click it and then like magic the shape turns into that color and you can do this for anything on a slide that has color you can do it for text if you want so let me just for demonstration highlight some text go back to my text color you have the eyedropper there too so let's say that I wanted it filled with the same white that is on the ninja face click that or let's say I wanted orange click that goes to that same color. So this is really useful for making your slides look consistent and professional and it removes all the guesswork. You don't have to use an additional tool. You can do it right in PowerPoint. Now if for some reason you need more information about what that color is, for example that headband orange, what you'll do is go back to where you had selected the color, click more fill colors, and it should pop up with the color that you most recently used or that you have selected. So I can see exactly my RGB red, green, blue values of my color. And you can then use that in other tools if you need to. Or what I have experienced in the past is needing to know the hex code to add to the HTML on my WordPress site. So what I'll do from here is remember or jot down those RGB values. 238-85-33. I have a site that I like to use. This is just a site that I use. You can find a lot of different ones. Um, RGB to hex.net. I click convert to hex and then I get my hex code EE5521 and all of that was basically from PowerPoint. This last step I got there so again, a really useful tool, the eyedropper, something that I use in every single presentation that I do. Hope this tip helped. For more tips and tricks like this one, please check back with 365ninja.com. Thanks.